Well, here's my first attempt at a spanner, and this is how not to do it. I took two pieces of steel bar. As you can see, I've got two of them sandwiched together. And this buckled, I don't know how many foot-pounds I applied in terms of torque, but uh, it buckled right away, so this one didn't work. So don't try this style of spanner. They say there's no cheating in art. And the way I designed this was I used Adobe Illustrator and drew a scale drawing of the spanner I wanted to create. And in Illustrator you can do all sorts of weird stuff like you can rotate and see check the dynamics of what you're creating it's cheating I know but it works so here's the variator spanner design and this is specifically for a Tau Tau ATM 150A Evo the variator fan is this, these are the dimensions here between the two holes where you need to insert your spanner the distance is 3.15 inches. It's got a 17 millimeter nut on the variator. The hole diameter that you're inserting into is approximately 7 millimeters, a little bit less, so it's about a quarter of an inch. And here's what the, de the design of the spanner looks like. It's one inch steel tubing perforated, so you don't have to drill holes in it. There are three pieces, one 15 inches long, one 7 inches, and one 3 inches long. In my first try, not only did the steel bars buckle, so you see they're bent there, but it also twisted the bolts, bent those as well. I'm using a hacksaw to cut through the steel tubing. It's a bit slow going, but it works. As you can see right there, this is my 15 inch long piece that I'm cutting right now. Now I'm going to cut the 7 inch piece. If you don't have a vise to hold the the steel tube. You can use a, a coffee table or some kind of workbench and a, I've got a thick blanket to use as padding for my knee when I press down on the on the bar. Now I've got the 15 inch piece and the 7 inch piece done. Here's a diagram showing the spanner design. Here's the variator fan with the two holes for holding the uh, spanner in place. And here's the design of the spanner. One 15 inch piece, one 7 inch piece, and one 3 inch piece of one inch steel square tubing. And here's the torque spec. I'm going to use 30 foot pounds on the variator nut. For the fastener hardware, you're going to need four bolts. They're all quarter inch diameter. Three of the bolts are three inches long and one is two inches long. You'll need eight washers, which are one inch in diameter but for a quarter inch bolt. And you'll need four quarter inch hex nuts. Here are the details on the one inch steel square tubing. 14 gauge. It's made by Hillman. And here's what it looks like on the end. I'm trial fitting the hardware and it looks like it's going to work just fine. 
Steel tubing is the most expensive part in this uh, spanner design. Uh, it's about $18 if you get it at Lowe's. Um, altogether, the hardware and parts are going to cost you about $25. Now I've got my three pieces cut. 15 inch, 7 inch, and 3 inch. That was a workout. I need a drink. A little Diet Dr. Pepper will do the trick. This is a low budget project so I don't have a file on hand which is what I would use if I had one but there's some uh, there's some stuff hanging off the uh, tubing after I cut it some jagged edges so I'm gonna sand that off with 100 grit sandpaper sanding is pretty straightforward it takes a little effort uh, with sandpaper but I got both the inside and outside edge sand it down now it's time to assemble The uh, two inch bolt will be inserted into one of the holes in the variator fan. I'm going to loosely snug it for now so it stays together. Actually, this one should be going the other way. I'll correct that in a second. Let me reverse this one. The reason I'm doing that is so it'll face outward so it doesn't get caught in any, any other components in the transmission. There we go. So this is the side that's going to be inserted into the variator fan. These two here. And all I have to do is tighten them down. That's everybody. And here's the finished product. This is the side that will face outward away from the CVT. And this is the side that will fasten, be inserted into the variator fan. You may have noticed that I 
doubled the washers on this side and I failed to put one on this side so uh, I've corrected that one washer per side I made a small modification I swapped out two of the three inch bolts for two and a half inch and when you do that they're not sticking out as much it's just about right so it goes into the variator fan like this I'm going to try to loosen the variator nut with a 25 inch breaker bar, a 2 inch extension, and a 17 millimeter socket. 